ಶಿಷ್ಯಂತೋಟಕಾರ್ತಿಕಾರ್ತಮಸ್ಮೀ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ನಮಾಯ ಭಗತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಮಧ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಹುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವೈ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಆಮ್ನಾಯಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧ ಆದಿಮಧ್ಯಾಂತವರ್ಜಿತ ಆನಂದಘನ ಆಪೂರ್ಣ ಸೋ ವಿವೇರ್ ಇಂದಿ ಈಕ್ಷತ್ಯಧಿಕರಣ ಇಂದಿ ಈಕ್ಷತ್ಯಧಿಕರಣ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ದಟ್ ಯು ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ Siddhanti talks of is not right, says the Puro Pakshi. And then he says the Pradhana is a Jagat Karanam, not uh, Brahma. So, Ikshater, Na Shabdam is a refutation of that. Since the Ikshana Kriya is possible only in a sentient being, Pradhana, which is Jada, cannot be Jagatkarana, cannot be having Ikshana Kriya and therefore cannot be Jagatkarana. Then, Gaunas Chain Atma Shabdas was a response to that Ikshana being secondary, meaning Gauna Prayoga. It is in Gauna Prayoga because it is in Samanadi Karana with Atma Shabda in the mantra, Tadaikshata Ityadi and then Anena Jeevena Atma Anupravishya was said in the mantra. then if it be said that atma shabda can can have pradhana meaning also because it has many meanings then that was refuted in the 7th sutra tannishtasya moksha upadesha because whoever has nishtha in nitram sthiti in that tattva jagat karana there will be moksha and in pradhana the resolution can give you only ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ತಮಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಮಾಯಾ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಿಕ ತ್ರಿಮೋ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಆರ್ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ಮಕ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ತಮೋ ಗುಣಾತ್ಮಕ ಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗೀವ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೀವ್ ಸಂಸರಣ ಅನರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಲಯ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಂಸರಣ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ನಾವು ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ in the next objection he says how about take it as one can land on brahma and get moksha through pradhana pradhana is a stepping stone it is easier to understand pradhana and then from pradhana you can jump to purusha very easily just a single step in the end that is what is meant in the shruti that you understand pradhana ya jagat karana and then from there you jump to purusha which is your swarupa that can't be why he uses his stool stool arundhati nyaya or shaka chandra nyaya since arundhati cannot be the star arundhati cannot be seen easily you use some still star there you know, the stool uh, the uh, a larger star visible from the naked eye what is larger and then from there you can have a single step to arundhati similarly pradhana is huge it is all over you know you can see pradhana objectified as prapancha and then from there you land to purusha nanu stula arundhati nyayena pradhana upadesha dwara ayam atma upadesha astu ityashankya so atma may not be the direct meaning even if we take that you know atma's meaning is not pradhana if you say it can be and still the moksha is possible because from pradhana you land on atma which is purusha for sankhya 
with a single step. That is also refuted by saying, Hyatva Vachanacha. Hyatva Vachanacha. Hyatva Sya Avachanacha. Pradhanam Jagatkaranam Na Bhuvitu Marhati. How? Pradhanam Na Atma Shabda Vachya. Vachya. The Pada Pradhanam is not the meaning of Atma. Atma Shabda in the Mantra. Although Mukhyatvam is a meaning possible and Pradhanatvam is a possible meaning. We don't deny it, but it is not the meaning. Because even if you use Shaka Chandra Nyaya, then the Shruti has to use it. You can't use it. The Shruti has to say, if at all it means that Pradhana is equal to meaning of Atma, both are in Samanadi Karanyam, but in the end you give up. You give up Pradhana and shift to Atma. That Shaka Chandra Nyaya in the end to drop the Shaka and land on Chandra. Oh, look at that branch. That branch is the moon. But in the end you say, oh yeah, that branch, are you able to see that? Just next to it, do you see? Yeah, now you shift the focus from the branch on the to the right side of the branch, wherever you see that mango fruit and that is Chandra. So you have to drop that Shaka Buddhi and go to Chandra Buddhi. Similarly here, from Pradhana Buddhi to land on Atma Buddhi, Purusha Buddhi, Shruti should give that statement, should have that Vakya, you should have Shravana of that, Vachana of the Shruti, that you drop or Pradhana is here, Pradhana is to be dropped in the end to get to Atma, that Vachana is not seen, so Hyatva of Pradhana is not seen in the Shastra. That is avachana. That is the hetu due to which pradhana is not the meaning of atma shabda and therefore not jagat karana. Yadi anatmayo pradhanam satchabde vachyam sa atma tattumasi iti iha upadishtam syat sa tad upadesha shravanad anatma jnyatya tannishto mabhut iti. If at all, Pradhana is the meaning of the Atma Shabda, in this Satma Tattvasi conclusion, concluding the uh, section of the Chandogya Upanishad, which starts with Sadeva Somya Damagrasit and ends with Satma Tattvasi, Tada Ikshata, Teja Ikshata, Apa Ikshanta, and then in the end, Sa Atma, that Sad is Atma and that Atma you are. So, Tattvamasi, that Sat is what you are. And Atma, in the case of the Puravakshi Sankhya, happens to be Pradhana. In which case, Yadi, ana, yadi Anatma Eva Pradhanam Satshabdam, Satshabda Vachyam. This Pradhana is not really Atma, but then, what the Puravakshi is saying, Atma has the meaning of Pradhana, you take that and through the Pradhana as the Shakha, like the Stula Nakshatra, from there you land on Arundhati. Like the Shakha, Shakha is not really Chandra. Similarly, Pradhana is not really Atma. So, Anatma is Pradhanam in the Vakya, but then through that you land on Atma. Shaka is not Chandra, but through Shaka you land on Chandra. So, Ashaka Chandra, that Ashaka Chandra is the meaning there of Chandra, but then you land on Chandra through the Shaka. So, here also you do the same thing. I think somebody is waiting for the meeting perhaps. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to switch on the auto admit, so people were waiting. Okay, I have switched on the auto admit. So, Yadi Anatmayo Pradhanam Satchabda Vachyam. In that statement, Sa Atma Tattvamasi, their Atma Shabda is Anatma. Why? Through Shaka Chandranya, it is not really Atma, it is Pradhana as Jagat Karana, and then finally that Atma you are when you say, then you make a jump by dropping Pradhana. This is some kind of an intention that Puro Pakshi has, but there is no such statement, there is nothing that gives you the meaning of real Atma 
एज अ शिफ्ट फ्रॉम प्रधान विच इज अनात्मा देर फोर यदि अनात्मा एव इनिशियली वॉट आत्मा हैज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रधान देर फोर यू टेक प्रधान बट दैट प्रधान इज नॉट रियली आत्मा देर फोर अनात्मा एव अनात्मा एव प्रधानम सच्चब्दवाच्यम स आत्मा तत्वसी इति इह उपदिष्ट सैत इह छांदोग्ये उपदिष्ट सैत इट वुड बी द मीनिंग ऑफ द टीचिंग देयर दैट यू आर दैट आत्मा व्हिच इज रियली अनात्मा प्रधान स तद उपदेश श्रवणाद व्हाट विल हैपन देन ओ यू आर दैट प्रधान व्हिच इज नॉट आत्मा दैट काइंड ऑफ आत्मा यू आर व्हिच इज रियली अनात्मा रिडिकुलस स्टेटमेंट रियली यू आर दैट आत्मा व्हिच इज अनात्मा प्रधान जड़ा तद उपदेश श्रवणाद व्हाट विल बी द इफेक्ट शेत केतु विल लिसन टू दिस एंड देन एनी जीव एनी वन हु लिसन्स टू दिस टीचिंग अनात्मज्ञतया ही विल बिकम अनात्मज्ञ एंड अनाज्ञ अनात्मज्ञता ही विल हैव ही विल हैव दैट स्टेटस ऑफ बीइंग अनात्मा व्हाई बिकॉज़ ही हैज बीन टॉट दैट यू आर दैट प्रधान व्हिच इज अनात्मा एंड देन अनात्मज्ञतया तन्निष्ठा तन्निष्ठेस प्रधानिष्ट जड़निष्ट अनात्मजिष्ट अनात्मनिष्ट माभूत because it is anarthakaraka which was which was the conclusion in the last part of the last sutra so tannishto pradhannishto anartha hetu ajada achetana anatma pradhana nishtha ma bhut let this jeeva not get anartha samsarana prapti therefore what iti mukhyam atmanam upadidikshu mukhyam atmanam upadidikshu shastram तस्य हेतुम ब्रूयात देन व्हाट वुड द शास्त्र डू और व्हाट शुड द शास्त्र डू ऑब्वियसली द पर्सन विल लैंड ऑन प्रधान व्हिच इज जड़ा अनात्मा बिकॉज़ द श्रुति से सो एंड ही मिसअंडरस्टैंड्स द वे द संख्या मिसअंडरस्टैंड्स दैट सत मींस अनात्मा प्रधान देयरफॉर ही विल हैव निष्ठा देयर द साधक हैविंग निष्ठा देयर विल नॉट गेट मोक्ष ही विल गेट अनर्था and that should not be the case therefore this hita shasana shastram that shastra which wants to do infinite good to the sadaka what should that shastra do mukhyam atmanam upadidikshu upadeshtum ichchu this shastra is desirous of teaching the mukhyatma pointing to the mukhyatma you are intending to point to the chandra not the shakha so finally you drop the shakha you drop the teaching of the shastra and you have to point the chandra you have to say oh drop that shakha from your vision now and land on to chandra therefore mukhyam atmanam upadikshu shastram what should that shastra do tasya anatmana anatmanah pradhanasya jadasya pradhanasya achetanasya pradhanasya hetvam bruyat it would say you drop that from your vision now from your nishtha there and do not gain nishtha in anatma pradhana but you land on that atma na tatha brute does not say so at all there is no such statement anywhere in any upanishad that you drop that after teaching there is there is all over there is a teaching of neti neti and you drop this drop this drop whatever you are objectifying you drop whatever is karya there you drop whatever is karana there you drop your atmatva buddhi so karanam nasti is what is taught after saying karyam nasti atma is not a karya atma is not a karana even atma is not something which can be objectified and atma is not really the objectifier because the objectifier subject <laughs> because every subject needs an object that division of subject and object the nama subject and object is possible only if there is a second there is no second so everywhere neti neti prakriya is there definitely is there so hetvam is there all over but having thought that you are this pradhana and then drop this pradhana buddhi that kind of hetva vachana is not there na tatha brute hetvam प्रधान से न ब्रूते शास्त्रम डज नॉट स्टेट सो अतः हेत्वस्य अवचनात दैट इज द सूत्र हेत्वस्य अवचनात हेत्वा वचनात इज अ सिंगल वर्ड 
दैट इज षष्टी तत्पुरुष हेयत्व से अवचना प्रधान से हेयत्व से अवचना अनभिधान मीनिंग इज अनभिधान सिंस दैट कैंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट इज इन देर इन दि शास्त्राश्रुति चकार 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 मीन दिस चकारा एक विज्ञान सर्व विज्ञान उपक्रम विरोधाच्यर्थ The upakrama there is Shweta Ketu was asked by his father, who became his teacher in the Chandogya Sarto Dhyaya, as to did your teacher teach you in the Guru Kula? You claim to know all the four Vedas, and you have so much of pride. Indirectly, aren't you ashamed to have that kind of a pride? Whereas this Nyana should make you modest. So did you? Ask your gurus at the Guru Kula to teach you that tattwa, that single tattwa, knowing which everything else is as well known. So, eka vidyana na sarva vidyana bhavati. Eka na jnana na. Only knowing one karana really, all karya is as well known. So, Shweta Ketu says there is no such thing. First, he is in denial. He says there is no such thing. I was the most brilliant student. How could I not be taught? So, what is the conclusion? He says the gurus there didn't know. Acharya said the guru told, if at all such a thing does exist, then they didn't know because there is a you know dialogue there back and forth, and then he says, okay, if at all such a thing is there, as you say, then they didn't know. Why? Because he didn't want to be sent back to the guru kula. You know, Bhaskara gives some concession because. He has ended up by that statement insulting the Guru Kula Acharyas, his own gurus, which is a dharma in Shastra. However, Bhagwan Bhaskara gives some concession there as to you know because he you know he didn't want to go back there. Twelve years he has already stayed there, so he wanted to be at home for a bit, something like that. So Bhagwan Bhaskara there says that. That eka vidyane na sarva vidyanam bhavati is the meaning there as to eka karana jnane na vidyane na sarvam karyam jnatam bhavati. So chakarat eka vidyane na sarva vidyana upakrama that upakrama opening statement there should land in the conclusion also. Meaning uh, the chandogya upanishad should land that person who is asking the question. That you teach me, he tells his father. Now you be the guru, and you teach me. If you know, I'll become the shishya, and thereby the teaching starts. So whatever the teaching has been taken up, the very reason for which his father became the guru, that will not be. That reason will not be met. It will not be satisfied. There will be no conclusion of the opening statement there. The pratidnya viroda will be there. That prati upakrama pratidnya was made. I'll teach you that. Knowing which that single jnana, you will become sarvajna. So, eka vidyana sarvajna upakrama virodha will take place because if you have shifted from pradhana, which is jagat karana, and then you say, oh, drop this pradhana now, you are atma, which has nothing to do with the prapancha, because sankhya says purusha atma has nothing to do with the prapancha. He is a bhokta, he is not a karta at all. So how will that akartru jnana give you sarva karya jnana? Because karya is not connected to the akarta; it is connected to the karta. Karta is the karana there. Karya is not connected to the akarta. Akarta purusha atma, who you have shifted from pradhana, who is actually really karana. So chakara eka vidyana sarva vidyana upakrama virodha virodha will take place and tasmat hetu ho virodha cha ityartha. This is the idea that pradhana cannot be. This is the reason because of which pradhana cannot be the meaning of the atma shabda there because there is no hetu vachana and there is no possibility of upakrama being the upasamhara also. Conclusion also that won't take place. Therefore, you will have virodha, and it will be ridiculous analysis. Thereby, one reason, one more reason has been given here to say that pradhana is not jagat karana. Itham pradhana sya atmo upadesha dwara. 
so that dwaratvam is one what has been refuted now that pradhana is the dwara karana mean one means to land on atmajnana so pradhanasya atmopadesha dwaratvam then atmatvam pradhana is itself atma first <clears throat> one way to look at it, pradhana is dwara to understand atma means to understand atma by shaka chandranaya or stula arundhati nyaya earlier what was said oh it is atma itself pradhana itself is the meaning of atma why nanarthatvat atmanah atma has so many meanings pradhana is also one meaning sharira also use as one meaning of atma you say mind also antakarana manah is one meaning of atma buddhi sometimes so contextually there are so many meanings in this context atma is has the meaning of pradhana said the puropakshi so that is the second me- meaning possible second way to look at it third is what that ikshana which was seen much ar- earlier to this sutra going backwards gauna ikshitritva that the ikshana tadaikshata that ikshana's vision of the srishti before the actual srishti before the srajana that itself is gauna prayoga it is secondary it is not primary it is not literally so this is what was stated by the puro pakshi if you keep on going back each sutra all that has been refuted thereby jagat karanatvam was also refuted so itham pradhanasya atma upadesha dwaratva atma gauna atmatva gauna ekshitritva nirasena itham pradhanasya atma upadesha dwaratva atmatva gauna ekshitritva nirasena these three things have been refuted and having discarded those jagat karanatvam has also been there is nirasa of jagat karanatvam also so pradhana is not jagat karana nirasya again refuting that also that pradhana cannot be jagat karana with nyaya using tarka and showing shruti statements will strongly stand in opposition to your analysis your sankhya analysis now what is being done aduna svatantraihi hetuvihi tadeva nirasitum sutra trayam ah the same refutation to refute the pradhana jagat karanatvam there are independent hetus given there are independent reasoning analysis separate analysis basically separate reasons are given as to why pradhana cannot be jagat karanam so three more sutra nirasitum sutra trayam so the next three sutras are for the same reason so there is they are all three connected with the with new hetus so what are those swapyayat swapyayat so here swasmin apyayat swapyate swasmin apyayat apya apya is laya api purvaka enehe layarthakatvat says the vritti so swasmin apyaya shushupti kale when a person goes to sleep then what happens in deep sleep in shushupti avastha everything resolves in oneself so the mandukya upanishad will say this tula prapancha along with the samashti not only the vyashti so vyashti the individual gross body along with the prapancha stula prapancha jagrat prapancha and the samashti vaishvanarah virat so this vishwa who is the jagrat avastha abhimani at the vyashti level and virat purusha who is the samashti abhimani of jagrat avastha along with that jagrat avastha and jagrat prapancha will resolve in vishwa in the individual so it is if you look at it uh, mandukya is drishti srishti vada all that resolves in the jeeva not in the samashti if it resolves in the samashti then this fellow is separate this fellow who is trying to go to sleep from jagrat avastha is going to sleep he is separate if he is merged there in the samashti he will not be the individual looking at the swapna so the individual is looking at the swapna he is the one goes to deep sleep when the others are there what others those others which may be elsewhere right? just to for a basic differentiation 
but really there are no others the others are from the others perspective and those others are observable and they are objectifiable they are transactable only when this jiva who has gone to sleep comes back in waking state and then he gives reality to those others who claim to be awake when he was sleeping that is the prakriya really so in the jagrat avastha as the person is falling asleep the vyashti and samashti along with their karyas are folded back into the vyashti taijasa in an individual taijasa who is the taijasa is the swapna avastha abhimani unto him everything is folded resolved and then when he goes to sleep from swapna avastha when this jiva goes to deep sleep sushupti avastha and becomes a prajna who is sushupti avastha abhimani that time the vyashti individual taijasa and the swapna prapancha of this taijasa and the entire swapna prapancha meaning sukshma sharira abhimani the sukshma sharira and the sukshma sharira abhimani of at the samashti level who is hiranya garbha all of them are folded back into prajna the sushupti abhimani at the vyashti individual level at the samashti level sushupti avastha abhimani is ishwara and there is no bheda there really <coughs> they are also folded the ishwara and prajna that bheda also if at all there is that is or ishwara it is called as uh, is sakshi so that is folded back into the amatra amartha chaturtha which is the turiya or the real atma unto that turiya prajna and ishwara or the samashti sakshi is resolved so where is everything resolved even that jiva who has taken the prajna bhava by becoming sushupti abhimani here the i, I just mentioned the mandukya prakriya using akara ukaram akara as the three states respectively jagrat swapna and sushupti and then whatever we discussed just now the four step is into turiya it is all resolved which is the which is mukti but here we are looking at that prajna unto which everything is folded the the jiva bhava which was there in swapna avastha with abhimana and jagrat avastha with abhimana and thereby respectively identification of humanis identification with the sukshma and stula shariras that is gone in sushupti avastha there is laya of all of that so it is nitya pralaya sushupti is otherwise called as nitya pralaya nitya laya nitya pralaya so swasmin swasmin apyaya swasmin laya he unto oneself wherever his identification is there itself everything else wherever he had identification earlier to that avastha all that is folded into it there is resolution so due to that resolution into oneself really chandogya says what that is the vishaya here so swasmin prakruta satshabdite chidatmani really you cannot have bheda that sad is ishwara who is jagat karana brahma not nirguna brahma but nirguna brahma with saguna is the same brahma there is no there are no two brahmas therefore swasmin sat shabda prakruta in the context what is being discussed that sat shabda of the chandogya upanishad sadeva somya idam agrasit that sat shabda is chidatma sadatma is chidatma that is anantatma anandatma so satchidanda satchidananda atmani प्रकृत सत्शब्दिते चिदात्मनि अप्ययात व्हाट इज अप्ययात अप्ययात इज लयश्रवणात ड्यू टू दिस 
Shruti Vakya which says Laya is therein unto oneself which is Chaitanya Swarupa in the end. So Apyayat, how, so, how, how do you know that it is that Laya Shravana, where is that Vakya? Sata Sumyas Tada Sampanno Bhavati Iti Laya Shravana. So Sata He Sumya Tada then in Shushupti Avastha Sata Sampanna Bhavati that same sat, which was what? Sadeva Somai Adamagrasi Tada Ikshata. And then Satma. Then Tattvamasi. All that which is being taught is regarding that Jagatkarana Sat, which is not Pradhana. Why? Because unto that Chit Atma there is Laya. Sata. Sata Sampannavati. He is endowed with that Sat. And only Sat, nothing else remains. Everything is folded back. Avidya is there, of course, in the Sushupti Avastha. But other than that, there is no Karya. There is no Avidya Karya. There is only Karana Sharira remains. There is no Sukshma Sharira and Stula Sharira. Iti Laya Shravanath. Oh, but this appears, why, why do you take this meaning? Appears Laya. Appears can be something else. Why is it Laya? So the vritti says api purva se enehe layartha katvat. Enehe is as we saw yesterday ikstipo dhatu nirdesha. So ik has been used here. Kakara is it halantyamit tasselopa. So e remains and this e is added to the dhatu here. You have the dhatu is what? In. In is dhatu. In gatau. So api purva ka in, gat, in dhatu ho ityartha. This shashti enehe. It will become eni. And any will decline in Panchami uh, and Shashti as Enehe. So here it is Shashti Ekavachana. Enehe means Indhato Ho. Api Purvasya Indhato Ho. Api, so sorry, Api Purvasya. Uh, the Indhato will take Api as Upasarga. So Api plus Ind will get Indhato, you will get a any form. So Api Purvasya Enehe, this Indhato, you will get Apya. The form will be Apya, not any. I'm sorry. This ene is in dhatoho and then api purvasya. Api plus in dhatu will give you apyaya. So apyat means laya. Why? Because api plus in dhatu has the meaning of laya. Layartha katvat. Ataha yasmin sarvesham jivanam shushuptau. Just give me a moment. People joining. So, api purva se ene layar takatva and ataha, therefore what? Ataha yasmin sarvesham jivanam shushuptau upadi krita vishesha abhava apyaha. That laya vishesha abhava is not there, that kind of apyaha, meaning that kind of laya takes place. When that is yasmin sarvesham jivanam shushuptau, yasmin, yasmin adhikarane, in whichever adhikarana, in whichever substratum there is resolution. When Shushuptav, Shushuptav Avasthayam, in the Shushupti, is it for one jiva? No, for all jivas. Even for insects and animals and birds, there is resolution during deep sleep Shushupti into that very Chidatma, which is one without a second really. But there is Avidya there, therefore each and every prani wakes up at that prani. An Ajnani wakes up as an Ajnani. A Simha wakes up as a Simha. The Kita wakes up as a Kita. So each and Brahadarnika says that although there is no Bheda between the Swami and Bhrat, between the Raja and Bhrat, this servant and the, the uh, Dwarapalaka and the Raja, the king, in Sushupti Avastha there is no Bheda. And the Simha and this uh, insect also become one. But they wake up as Simha and insect respectively. There is no exchange there. They don't, uh, the insect does not, the Kita does not become Simha. The Bhrat Sevaka does not become Raja. So each and every Prani wakes up as that Prani because of that Avidya being there but resolution is in Chaitanya. Therefore Ananda, one wakes up with Ananda. Because the Antakarana has so much of Ananda in Shushupti, it is one with Atma. It wakes up with that ananda. You cannot get that ananda anywhere else. That is why everyone craves to sleep, deep sleep, uncontrollably. Even if they don't want to sleep, they will be dragged to sleep because 
अदरवाइज ये अंतकरणाद इंद्रियाज शरीराज वोंट सर्वाइव दे हैव टू बी चार्ज अप चार्ज अप विद दी स्वरूप आनंदा देन अलोन दे कैन सी आनंदा इन दी प्रपंच विषय आनंदा इस पॉसिबल होनली व्हेन दे स्वरूप आनंदा मेक्स देम यू नो इट्स लाइक द चार्जिंग दी बैटरी एंड देन स्लोली ड्रेन्स अवे बीइंग कंज्यूम्ड इन विषय आनंदा यू स्टार्ट यू नो यू एक्यूमुलेट दैट इन डीप स्लीप एज दो एंड यू स्टार्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इट टू ऑल विषय भोगा इन केनो उपनिषद सो मच ऑफ भोगा इज प्रॉमिस्ड बाय यमराजा जस्ट फॉर नचिकेता टू ड्रॉप द थर्ड क्वेश्चन the inquiry into atma teaching into atma he says you drop this i'll give you i'll make you the emperor of this prapancha entire universe you will become that uh, in the taitiriya uh, upanishad there is a ananda valli where the mimamsa ananda mimamsa is there brahmananda mimamsa there the unit one unit of manushya ananda is said to be that emperor who is young and who is uh, dharmika and has a an extremely you know he 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 owns up everything all the gold of the entire universe so something like that yamaraja is promising nachiketa that you will become that and you will live that kind of a long life so you are young enough you can enjoy all this there he says indriyana jarenti tejaha so takes up all it it uh, indriya all the indriyas tejas are taken up so all the, these bhogas take away the indriyas because you are distributing the ananda which you have tapped in susupti avastha which is your swarupa and to that chit sat atma there is resolution in susupti of all jivas where there is no division in sapna there is division in jagrat there is division but that karya is not there in susupti avastha the karana avidya is there which is called as karana sharira that alone keeps on ticking so although there is avarna still there is bhoga of the bhoga in the swarupa itself is tapped there so upadi krutha vishesha is not there upadi krutha vishesha are there in swapna because upadi is karya with which there is association upadi is the adjunct with which you have an association association can be mama also aham also so the sukshma sharira of one's own sukshma sharira one has ahankara and with others one may have mamakara similarly with this stool sharira so upadi krutha vishesha abhava is there that itself is laya sabhava eva apyaha layaha where in susupti avastha for all jiva sarvesham jiva yasmin so yasmin yasmin chidatmani sadatmani anandatmani atmani natu anatmani pradhane ataha yatra layah bhavati yasmin layah bhavati tat chetanam sat shabda vakyam brahma eva jagat karanam na pradhanam ityartaha that chetana not achetana jada pradhana is jagat karana into karana there is karya laya and in nitya pralaya susupti avastha also the laya is into karya karyas karana all laya of all the karyas is into its own karana which is not pradhana it is not achetana it is chetana and that chetanatvam is in is brahma that chetanatva that chetana is what we call what the shastras call as brahma brahma eva sat shabda vachyam chetanam chidatma chidatmakam chit swarupam brahma eva jagat karanam na pradhanam ityartha because jagat laya takes place basically what is being said all that we saw jivanam susupta upadikrita vishesha abhava apyaya is jagat laya ha the entire stula sukshma prapancha jagat laya takes place apya takes place into which chidatma jagat is karana uh, jagat is karya so the karya stula sukshma karya resolves into its karana and that karana is sat shabda vachyam chetanam in susupti why sata somya tada sampanno bhavati iti lay shravana therefore that has to be karana that atma 
is Chetana Brahma, it cannot be a Chetana Jada Pradhana as Karana, therefore, na Pradhanam Jagat Karana Michataha. Further, what? Further, uh, in continuation, there is no introduction here because all three sutras have the same idea here to refute Pradhana and Jagat Karana. So, next sutra is Gatis Samanyat. Gatis Samanyat. So, Gati Samanyat. If you analyze all the Shruti Vakyas which talk about Shruti, because Shruti will establish what is the Jagat Karana. And if you analyze across Upanishads, what do you see? Gati, Jnana. Gati is Jnana. Gati has Jnana Artha. Any Gati Artha ka dhatu can have Jnana Artha. And that is the Samanya. Generally, across all Upanishads, what is Samanya in the Srishti Prakriya? The understanding you, that you get when you look into each and every Upanishad where Srishti is talked about, what is that Karana? The understanding is same. And it is not Pradhana, it is Brahma only. Wherever you analyze, so that is the Sutra here. Gati Samanyat means Gate He Samanyat. Gate He Sarvavedanteshu Gate He Jnanasya Samanyat. Or Gati being Sri Lanka, you can say Vidyayaha Samanyat. That another reason. Therefore, what? Pradhanam na Jagat Karanam. Sarveshu Vedanteshu Srishti Prakriyashu. Brahmaeva Jagat Karanam. Iti Pratiyate. Iti Nyayate. Iti Gate He. Iti, avid, uh, iti Vidyayaha Samanyat. Definitely that is the understanding across all Upanishads in Srishti Vakyas. Gate he vritti, gate he sarveshu atmana akasha sambhutaha. So, tasmadva etasmad atmana akasha sambhutaha. Akasha dvayuhu vayo ragnihi agne rapaha dvyaf prithivi. Entire Srishti Prakriya. All the Bhutas, then Bhautikas are talked about there. Annat Purusha, this Jiva. Finally, this Jiva is born who identifies with. Why? Like the earlier set of mantras that we saw. Vritti quoted that. Finally, what? Anena Jivena Atmana Anupravishya. Finally, entire Srishti is for the sake of whom? For the sake of Prarabdha bhog of this, this, this jiva. Samashti, all the jivas put together, whatever Prarabdha bhoga is ready for fructification, whatever Prarabdha is ready for fructification for each and every jiva, that kind of jagat has to be created by Ishwara. Not any other jagat. Not the way he wants, not as per his whims and fancy. Only that kind of Jagat which will make the Bhoga of all Jeevas possible as per their Prarabdha which is ready to fructify. And then alone the Srishti takes place and thereby Brahma himself becomes identified with each and every of these Jeeva Shariras including Prani and Pakshi Ityadi. Not only Manushya as aham, 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 ahantaya. So, anena, jivena, atmana, anupravishya, in the earlier quotation, now, atmana, akasha, sambhutah, tasmad, vai, tasmad, atmana, akasha, sambhutah, this akasha is born out of that atma, which is there in that mantra also, which has gone by earlier, in the brahmana also, it is the same atma, so, tat, tasmad, from that, Tat which was discussed earlier in the mantra section, now in the Brahmana also, Atmanaha, Akasha, Sambhutaha. Then from Akasha, which is that Akasha? That Akasha, which is the appearance of that Atma, which is Tat, Brahma. That Brahmatma appears as Akasha now. And from that Brahmatma, which is appearing as Akasha, has taken the Nama Rupa of Akasha. Akasha has no Rupa, but Rupa Vat Rupa. So, which has taken the name, name Akasha, otherwise Nama Akasha. From that Akasha, Vayu, Vayu Sambhuta. Vayu is born. And so on, Vayu is manifest. 
Agni is manifest, so on. Finally, Purusha, because all this is for the Purusha's Bhoga. Annat Purusha. So, Gatehe Sarveshu Atmanaha, Gatehe Samanyas. So, Gatehe, what is that Gati? Jnana, Vidya, that takes place. Sarveshu, Vedanteshu, Akkeshu, Atmanaha, Akasha, Sambhuta, Ityadi, Vedanteshu. All the Vedanta statements which talk about Srishti, like in the Taitri Upanishad, Atmana Akasha Sambhuta, Chetana Karanatva Avagati He, Gati is Avagati He, Jnanam, Vidya, Chetana Karanatva, understanding is the same, Samanat, Samanatva, because the Avagati Samanya is there, you get the same understanding, that same Atma, which in Chandogya was mentioned as Saatma Tattvamasi, having started with Tad Aikshata, Tat Sad Aikshata. Similarly, Atma and then Atma itself, that is Atma, Saatma. Similarly, here Atmana Akasha Sambhuta, everywhere Atma, Atma or something similar has been used. The understanding is same across Upanishad. Na Achetanam Pradhanam Karanam Ichyata. Because of this Gati, Gatehe Heto Ho, Jnana Heto Ho, Samanya Jnana Heto Ho, Sarveshu Vedanteshu, Chetanam, Jagat Karanam na bhavitu marahati, pradhan, uh, achetanam, pradhanam, jagat karanam bhavitu na arahati. Then what is the karana? Atma, which is Brahma. Further what? Shrutatvacha. Shrutatvacha. Since Brahma is heard Atma as jagat karana, you cannot bring in pradhana from nowhere and say that this is jagat karana. Because that makes sense to us, we have such a prakriya or such a darshana. That won't make any difference to Shruti and followers of Shruti. Shruyatehi Shveta Shvatara Upanishadi Sarvajyam Ishwaram Prakritya Sa Karanam Karanadipadho Nachasya Kashchi Janita Nachadipaha Iti So it is stated in Shveta Shvatara Upanishad. It is heard, Shruyate, he, it is heard, the Vakya Mantra is heard in Shveta Shvatara Upanishad. What is that? Sarvajyam Ishwaram Prakritya, having discussed Ishwara as Sarvajya, then that Ishwara is said to be Sahakaranam, he is said to be Karanam. That is the Karana and what about his Karana, Ishwara's Karana? Oh, sa karanam karanadipa dhipaha nacha asya kashchi janita nacha dhipaha. There is no one else who is karana for this jagat karana, sarva karana. So that is heard in Shvetashvatara Upanishad. You cannot say that pradhana is the meaning there because there is no such statement. He is the Swami. Karana Adhipadipaha, he is the Karana and he is also the Adhishthata. Adhipa, the karana, Karana is Indriya. So Indriya Adhishthata, Adhipa is Adhishtha, Adhishtha. See, see, Pa is for Rakshana also, it is also for nourishment there. Uh, pa is for Pane also. But then Adhipa, Adhipura ka Pa there. He is the one who is Adhishthata. Adishthata, Indriyanam Adishthata, Adishthatra Devatas, all the Indriya Adishthatra Devatas, those who, so for example, Chakshusha Aditya, one who wants a better eyesight should worship Aditya, Surya, so Surya is the Adishthatra Devata for Chakshurindriya, and so on. So in Tattva Bodha, there is detail given as to which Adishthatra Devata, presiding deity for which Indriyas. Finally, all those are various with Upadis and with their roles that they play. But the real presiding deity or the one who rules over those Upadis also is Ishwara. So that Ishwara, Sarvajna Ishwara, he is Karana, Jagat Karana, and he is the Karana Adipa also. 
कर्ण अधिपाधिप सो कर्णाधिप इज कर्णाधिप इज कर्ण अधिष्ठातृ देर अधिष्ठाता ऑल्सो ही इज दि वन हू रूल्स ओवर दि प्रिसाइडिंग डीटीज हू रूल ओवर दि इंद्रिया दैट इज दि मीनिंग देर सो स कारण सैशरा जगत् कारण कर्ण अधिकरण ये तेषाम अभी अधिप सो ही इज दि रूलर ऑफ दि रूलर ऑफ इंद्रिया ऑलसो ऑफ ऑल जीवा सो दैट कैंड ऑफ स्वामी हू डज नॉट हैव अ स्वामी सो न कश्चित जनिता न अधिप सो कारण एंड कर्ण अधिपाधिप ही हिज दि ईश्वर इज वॉट अबाउट हिज कारण एंड हिज अधिप स्वामी सो देर इज नो जनिता सो देर इज नो कारण फॉर दैट ईश्वर कश्चित जनिता तस्वर से अश्वर से नास्ती अधिप च अधिप स्वामी चास्ती सो दिस इज वॉट दि श्वेताश्वर उपनिषद से तो श्रवण टेक्स प्लेस देर श्रुतवा चेतो ईश्वर चेतना ईश्वर जगत् कारण न तो प्रधान अचेतन जड़म सो दैट कैनॉट बी दट जड़ अचेतन प्रधान कैनॉट बी जगत् कारण तस्मा सर्वज्ञ ब्रह्म जगत कारण न चेतन प्रधान अन्यद्वा सिद्ध बिकॉज श्रुति हेज ऑलरेडी सेड इन सो मेनी वर्ड दट सर्वज्ञ ईश्वर ब्रह्म ई जगत् कारण यू कैनॉट यू दि सांख्या कैनॉट क्लेम अचेतन जड़ प्रधान एज जगत् कारण वॉट अबाउट समन एल्स नीदर यू नॉर एनी वन एल्स कैन क्लेम समथिंग एल्स समन एल्स टू बी अन्यद्वा एज जगत् कारण सिद्ध सो यूजिंग सांख्या एज The Puro Pakshi, the Siddhanti Advaitin refutes all other Pakshas also. He says because because of this this particular sutra, Shruta Tvacha, for an Astika, this Shruti should take primary importance. It is the only pramana for Jagat Karanatvam. For everything which is not which is not a Vishaya Indriya Vishaya, Shruti is the only pramana. So nobody can claim. Anything other than Sarvajna Brahma Ishvara as Jagat Karana, it is not acceptable. It has Shruti Virodha. Nastikas anyway we don't care much about, but they will be discussed later in a different manner. Itham Sarvesham Vedanta Ram. So this section is over now. As to Sankhya refutation has taken place through the Ekshat Yadi Karanam. So to sum up, Ekshater Na Shabdam starts here due to ईक्षण क्रिया प्रधान विचि जड़ा कैनॉट बी जगत् कारण बिकॉज ईक्षण द विजन कैन टेक्स प्लेस टेक प्लेस ओनली इन अंशियंट बीइंग एंड प्रधान इज इन सेंशियंट देर फॉर अशब्द मीन्स अनहर्ड ऑफ इन श्रुति अनहर्ड प्रधान दैट कैंड ऑफ प्रधान कैनॉट बी जगत् कारण देन इज इट गौण प्रयोग the ekshana is it uh, you know not primary use it is not meant literally so no it is meant literally so because gaunas chetna atma shabdat gaunas chetna atma shabdat because that jagat karana is in samana adikaran with atma which is sentient and can have ekshana kriya so ekshana kriya is not gauna there it is mukhya and then we saw tannishtasya moksha upadeshat If you say that uh, it uh, atma can have pradhana meaning, yes, it can have pradhana meaning, but here it can't be so because finally, when tattva masi is said, then one will gain nishta in tat, and that tat, if it is pradhana, then it will not give moksha. It will be anartha hetu tan nishta se moksha upadeshat. But brahma nishta se moksha is possible, and that is the teaching, not pradhana nishta anartha. That anartha is anartha karya. Pradhana cannot be the meaning there. That will not lead to moksha. And then here to avachana accha. If at all you say it is like the shaka chandra nyaya, it is used as stepping stone. Pradhana is used as stepping stone, which is jagat karana. And then atma teaching, purusha teaching will be given. 
that kind of a teaching is not there of dropping the pradhana buddhi and landing on to brahma buddhi so hetu avachanacha the three sutras give other hetus for pradhana not being jagat karana swapya swasmin apyat layat because in chetana chidatma itself there is laya in sushupti avastha not in pradhana that is what the sata somya tada sampannu bhavati mantra says therefore pradhana cannot be jagat karana because karya laya is only in karana not elsewhere into pradhana which is akarana gati samanyat everywhere the understanding is same across all upanishads in srushti prakriya that chetana brahmatma is jagat karana not aja, uh, achetana jada pradhana shrutatvacha means <coughs> shruti shabda itself is there that brahma is jagat karana it is the ruler of the rulers of indriyas also and had, does not have any karana or any ruler इत्थम आफ्टर दी ईक्षत्यधिकरण इत्थम सर्वेशां वेदांताना सविशेष निर्विशेष ब्रह्मपराण उपास्ति विधि द्वारा साक्षात निर्विशेष ब्रह्मपरत्वे सिद्धे अपि अधुना निर्विशेष वाक्य विचारात्मक इदम अधिकरण आरभ्यते सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट अधिकरण इज आनंदमय अधिकरण दिस इज बिगन फॉर व्हाट रीजन ही सेज इत्थम इन दिस मॅनर सर्वेशां वेदांताना ऑल दी वेदांत वाक्यास व्हिच वी हैव सीन सो फार एंड व्हिच वी हैवेंट सीन सो देयर आर सो मेनी ऑल वेदांत वाक्यास हैव व्हाट एज देयर तात्पर्य विषय वी हैव सीन एज ब्रह्म एंड ऐक्य थ्रू दी टीचिंग ऑफ तत्त्वमसी इत्यादि महावाक्या सो सर्वेशां वेदांताना सविशेष निर्विशेष ब्रह्म पराणा दे आर देर तात्पर्य विषय ऑफ ऑल वेदांत वाक्याज आर इधर सगुण ब्रह्म और निर्गुण ब्रह्म विद दि गुण वी टॉक अबाउट दि सेम ब्रह्म एज सगुण एंड निर्गुण और सविशेष और निर्विशेष इट इज नॉट दैट देर आर टू ब्रह्म द सेम ब्रह्म टेक्स दि उपाधि फ्रॉम दि पर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ दि जीवास हु वॉन्ट मोक्ष हु आर एनलाइजिंग दे say that there is some guna that i see otherwise it is not possible for nirguna brahma to become jagat karana and being a karana this srishti sthiti laya karana and we have seen earlier what the objection was gyan kriya is not possible we saw yesterday as to jnana kriya shaktya bhava kutastha brahmana that kutastha nirvishesha brahma cannot have jnana and kriya shakti so jnana shows the nimitta nimitta karanatvam and kriya shows the upadana karanatvam both will jnana taking place will change the change the entity and kriya will also take place in the locus adhikarana of the karta therefore will change the entity so some change will be there and that is not possible in kutastha changeless brahma this was the objection and then what was said maya mahimna sarvasya apyopatte due to maya's mahima mahad bhava everything is possible not really mithyatvena similarly here nirvishesha and savishesha savishesha nirveshesha brahma paranam sarvesham vedantanam उपास्ति विधि द्वारा साक्षात निर्विशेष ब्रह्म परत्वे सिद्धि अपी सविशेष विशेष दैट जगत कारण ब्रह्म दैट इज फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आल्सो एंड फॉर उपासना आल्सो लुक एट दिस ब्रह्म लुक एट दिस ब्रह्म हैज सच काइंड ऑफ गुणास विशेष सम विशेष विल बी गिवन नॉट ओनली सृष्टि स्थिति एंड लया समथिंग एल्स आल्सो विल बी देयर फॉर उपासना उपास्ति इज उपासना भावे तिन so upasthi vidhi dwara it is a vidhi upasana you do this upasana then upasana will lead to what upasthi vidhi dwara sakshat nirvishesha brahma paratve api finally it will end into nirguna brahma itself in siddhanta it is this upasthi vidhi yes it is okay savishesha brahma upasanas are there we accept in fact nirguna brahma upasanas also we accept पंचदशीकार भगवान विद्यारण्यचार डील विद दिस इन दी नाइन्थ चैप्टर ऑफ पंचदशी ही सेज ओके ज्ञान इज नॉट पॉसिबल 
If it is very difficult, then you do Nirguna Brahma Upasana. Kahangra Upasana. With Nirguna Brahma, you say that I am Brahma, you try, you are having difficulty to understand, somehow it will lead you there. That somehow he does not answer. He says that how I can't explain, it will lead you. Kramena, we should take it as Kramena. Kramena because Ekagra will take place, it will also take away all the, because Samadhi can take place, Samadhi will bring the Dharma Dhara, Dharma Megha, Dharma Megha and that Dhara, Megha Dhara will finally take away all the obstacles, Vasanas and it will make the possibility of Jnana through Shravana. So in the end, Nirvishesha Brahma Paratvam of all Vakyas, all, even the Savishesha Brahma Para Vakyas, which talk about Saguna Brahma, those kind of Vedanta Vakyas, through Upasanas, they'll have final Tatparya in Nir, Nirvishesha Brahma, Nirguna Brahma only. Siddhe Api, although that is true, established so. We have across all Upanishads and Bhashyas, we have seen this. Adhuna Nirvishesha Vakya Vicharatmakam idam adhikarnam arabhyate. But still, we have to talk about those which are sakshat talking about, directly talking about nirvishesha brahma. So they are not really for upasana, they are, they are not saguna brahma, they are nirguna brahma. So here this upasti vidhi dwara, although sakshat nirvishesha brahma paratvam is there, upasti dwara can be the Ekadeshi also. Ekadeshi is one who, who agrees with one part or who is actually uh, Samuchevadi. He is also Vedanti, Advaita Vedanti only, but then he says that Upasana is what will make a Brahma Jiva as Brahma, which is also going to be refuted, but his Paksha is also given. So Anandamaya Adhikarana is a little tricky because the the analysis is done twice. There are set of sutras and the almost the entire Adhikarana is analyzed twice in the Vritti, in the Bhashya also. So it follows the Bhashya Nuga Vritti. So it follows the Bhashya. Bhagavan Bhashyakara analyzes it twice. So initial analysis is of the Vrittikara or of the, uh, uh, what, who is called as Vrittikara also elsewhere. Uh, maybe Vrittikara, we don't know. So it is of the Ekadeshi. So we don't take that as the final Siddhanta. We have to be careful. We have to see the argument as refutation of the other Paksha, but it is not the final Siddhanta. The final Siddhanta, Advaita Siddhanta will be given in the second analysis of this Adhikarana. So first all the Sutras give only one interpretation and then we'll see when we land and it, there is again an analysis with Asmin Asita Dayokam Sasti. After this is done, this Anandamaya Abhyasa, starting from this Anandamaya Abhyasa, which will be which we will do it tomorrow, in the next part or other. So starting with this, again all these sutras are taken for analysis from the Siddhanti Paksha. So there is slight bheda between refutations, but then the final landing is in the Siddhanta. So all these have taken into a different, uh, uh, the, the refutation is similar, but the meaning of the sutras in the end are not the same as the Ekadeshi, they are different. So that we'll see in the next part half. So just be careful because uh, uh, there may be a doubt because I've heard this, you know, Acharya used to say that uh, when he studied Anandamaya Abhyasa, it appears as though, you know, all this is Siddhanta. But then in the end, Bhagavan Bhashikara says, oh, this is Ekadeshi Mata. Now, because here also you'll see all this is done and then what is said in the end, when he restarts the analysis, he'll say, Idam tu Ekadeshi Matam. What has been said so far is not really Final Siddhanta, it is Ekadeshi Vedanti's Mata, Bhagavat Padiya Mate Tu Evam Sutra Yojana. How these sutras have to be understood, all the refutation is okay. We agree with the refutation of the Ekadeshi of other Matas, but then the Sutrartha is not exactly so. Their Sutra Yojana is a little different. So that we'll see uh, in the after end of the 19th Sutra, 12 to 19. First Ekadeshi Mata and then again 12 to 19 with the Bhagavat Padiya Mata. Kamna Yantik Sam Siddham Adimat Yanta Varjitam Ananda Varma Purnam Atmid Jyoti Rupas Mahi. Okay, namaste. See you in the next part. Namaste.